Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren. Today's video is actually going to be something interesting. I just want to touch a bit of topic on a Demon Hunter class. The class that came out and uh, a ton of people are playing this class. A ton of people seem to be enjoying this class. And a lot of people are re-rolling from their classes to Demon Hunter. Now Demon Hunter currently on the live version of the game. They are not the strongest class. I mean, the one thing that they are lacking right now is self-heals and self-sustainability. You don't really have any ways of healing yourself, except if you score a kill on an enemy and then pick up their soul, which will heal you for a considerable amount. That, or carry potions and health stones with you in order to hope that you might be able to live a little bit longer to see another battle. But in most times, demon hunters kind of just have to go all in, pop their defenses, pop their offensives, use the blade dance carefully to dodge certain key spells, interrupt all the casts and deal as much damage as possible, especially when the ability of metamorphosis is available to a demon hunter. While demon hunters currently don't have, you know, the most optimal way of playing and don't have too much variety on the live servers, they just might be the strongest class in the game. And it is really, really difficult, first of all, to pinpoint one of the strongest classes in the game or what makes it super strong, because there's always a situation where one class outshines the other, whether we're talking about PvP, battlegrounds, arenas, or raids, dungeons, and leveling situations. But I feel like for the most part, Demon Hunters might be overall one of the best classes in the game. And especially by the time you get your artifact weapon and you get your talents and PvP talents unlocked, I feel like as a Demon Hunter, you can basically outperform some of the or majority of the other classes in most cases. And let me first bring you guys some of the thoughts that other people have had in terms of what makes a Demon Hunter super strong, as well as let me give you my own input. One, for questing, for example, and this is just a cat amount of questing, I'm not even bringing up the PvP portion of the game. In most questing areas, some of the classes have to get around a hill, get around a mountain, they have to go around a certain structure. Demon Hunters can literally just scale walls and scale mountains and see the map in a different light. A Demon Hunter will see a map in one way, while let's say a rogue or a mage or a hunter will see the map in another. The Demon Hunter is probably the best potential for the highest jump distance and also with the glide capability you can get around the map a lot easier you can stay up on heights and then you glide down to a lower uh, level area it's just you have a lot more mobility and therefore you have a lot more places to go when you're leveling and questing you have a lot more shortcuts to get around compared to some of the other classes not all the classes basically have almost semi-flying capabilities but as a demon hunter you do so i feel like on that respect already demon hunters are a little bit better than some of the if not most of the classes in the game and this doesn't even amount to pvp the fact that they can use glide and double jump in order to increase the movement speed alone for pvp and then also counts and fell rush and vengeful retreat on top of it you overall have not only more mobility but you have a lot better scaling power and the demon hunter will basically look at a map and will see a point a point b in the middle there's a hill the hill is blocking your way demon hunter might as well not see the hill second the way Demon Hunter is played, the playstyle is fairly simplistic, for the most part you have two big buttons. You have your one button which is a Fury Builder, and one big one, which is the most amount of damage you can deal, is your Fury Spender. And that's literally your rotation, you build Fury and spend Fury, build Fury and spend Fury. Sometimes you have to build Fury and spend Fury on other abilities. One of them is an I-Beam, deals a lot of damage, the other gives you a dodge and deals a lot of damage. Basically a lot of the abilities are really straightforward. As some classes you have to make crucial decisions of uh, oh do i sacrifice the global cooldown here for this another ability do i place this spell with this spell should i use this one spell here or another for demon hunter it's pretty straightforward it it's not that much of thinking power that needs to be done your rotation is pretty uh, simple and understood yet varied and uh, interesting enough for you to be able to use it different in pvp and pve situations in some raid situations in some battleground situations you'll be using different abilities for different reasons but for the most part it's all straightforward and there's not a lot of like headaches to go through in order to nail down your rotation and i feel like that's one of the coolest things about him not only is the rotation pretty simple you deal a lot of damage on top of it so there's not a lot of ways of thinking of oh how should i line up the spell should i love this cooldown or this cooldown maybe i should wait for a proc for the most part when you need abilities you get to use them and that's one of the fun things about demon hunter combined with the mobility it feels like you have the most amount of control in a bg or in an arena 
Third, defensives. And you know what they say, the best defense is a great offense, and Demon Hunters basically live by that creed. There's not too many defenses for Demon Hunters. You have one ability that has a one minute cooldown, and another Darkness which has a three minute cooldown, but for the most part you already have the tools for survivability. One of your best tools for survivability is your insane mobility. You want to get away from a big chaos ball flying at you? Before the Warlock casts it, you can literally just sprint away. You can literally run away and exit out of situation when a paladin has wings and enter back once he is down on wings and once he doesn't have his cooldowns. As a demon hunter you have this opportunity. Most of your mobility is tied to also dealing damage so when you're using mobility to catch up to an enemy not only are you just catching up, you're also dealing damage to the enemy, damage enough to be able to start pressuring them. On top of it, your defensives is tied to your metamorphosis because eventually you'll be able to unlock a talent where you, during metamorphosis you have 100% leech. And as a PvP talent, you'll be able to unlock more ways of dealing, getting into metamorphosis. Every time you use I-Beam, you can get into metamorphosis. Every time you get low health, you activate metamorphosis. Every time you want to pop cooldowns for metamorphosis, you activate metamorphosis. So there's three different ways and two of them are all about not using the big cooldown for metamorphosis in order to achieve it. And every time you're in metamorphosis, as long as you deal on the maximum potential damage, you are leeching 100% of all damage you deal. So the harder you hit, the harder you heal. If you hit enemies in an AoE, you're healing off of all of them. If you are hitting one single enemy with a massive burst, you're healing off of his damage. So not only do you have great survivability with massive mobility, great damage, simple rotation, awesome, awesome healing because the harder you hit, the better you heal so you don't really even have to worry about defensives and full control of your character no matter where you go, no matter where you are in most situations. I feel like Demon Hunters make for one of the best classes in the game. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. My name is Darren and I'll see you guys in the next one.